good morning welcome and welcome back to my channel it's your girl kinesthetic with the kinesthetics and i'm here with you guys today with a new video So this is going to be a vlog and this is basically going to be like a self-care vlog. Um, I'm just going to show you guys some things that I do whenever I feel like I need to practice self-care. Whenever I need to, you know, get myself together. So that's what we're doing in today's video. Before we get started, make sure you guys subscribe. We're on the road to 8K. Give this video a big thumbs up and drop a comment down below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So today's December 9th and I actually have a nail and pedicure appointment. I'm doing a gel pedicure and a gel manicure. And then tomorrow, December 10th, I have a full body massage scheduled. So that's what I'm going to be doing. That's what I'm going to be doing. But if y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all know that I soak my gel and my acrylic off at home to save my 5 or $10. Dollars. So I just finished soak. Well, I tried to finish soaking off the gel on my nails. But I ran out of acetone. So, and I definitely went to Target the other day and forgot to get some. But, um, this is what my nails are looking like. They are nice and healthy. And I've been giving my nails a break on acrylic. So, I've just been doing gel manicure. So, this hand was fine. But this hand is giving uh, French tip. Like, I don't know. I have my nails after my toes. So, if anything, I don't know if she's going to want me to soak or she'll just file it off. But, then I took the gel off my toes. They look crazy, so I'm not even going to show y'all. So, today I want to do a chocolate brown matte gel manicure. So, that's what I'm feeling like. I don't really do dark nails, but something just came across me like, girl, put that funny bunny down and do some um, something dark. So, I'm going to do chocolate brown matte. Period. And then on my toes, I'm going to do funny bunny. Because I don't like how dark colors look on my toes. I just feel like they make my toes look fatter. I don't know if it's just me. Comment down below and let me know. But I love me some funny bunny on my toes. So I'm going to do some funny bunny on my toes. And in case y'all don't know, funny bunny is like my go-to shade. It's like a marshmallow white-ish color. Because white is cool, but I just feel like white is a little bit too harsh. But I did want to try bubble bath. Because I heard that's a nice shade. But I'll probably try that on my nails next. But... I'm going to my girl Shayla at Chris Angel Nail Salon. She does my pedicures, but she I like the way she does gel manicures. So she gonna do me a gel mani too. And my appointment is at 1 o'clock for my toes and 2.15 for my nails. So back to back. Um, so I'm probably going to leave the house maybe like 12, 12, 15. I'm going to say 12 because that means 12, 15. Like, I'm just always running late. And look at my hands, guys. I was soaking. And my fingers are, like, so peroni. But, yeah. My nails are a nice length. Like, I'm feeling it. So, I was kind of nervous because gel manicures, my nails usually, like, break. Because my nails are not usually, like, that healthy. But my nails were, like, super long. I put a picture on the screen. They were super long. And then I cut them down before I went to get my first gel mani. And then they grew, like, so much. But this nail was the only one that chipped. As you guys can see, it's, like, uneven. But I'm going to just tell her to file it, like, straight. So... Yeah, these are my real nails or whatever. So, I'm about to do some things I have to do before I leave the house. I'll also probably go to the mall today because I feel like shopping is a form of self-care. And today is the last day of the Sephora $25 off $75 for Rouge. So, I'll probably make it to the mall too. We'll see. But, yeah. And when I leave, I'm going to use my DJI Osmo Pocket just so you guys know. So, if you guys see a difference in quality, that is what it is. Um, Because I don't feel like carrying this big camera with me. So, that's what I'm going to do. But let me go ahead and do what I gotta do now, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I'm about to leave for my appointment, but quick OOTD. So I have on this scarf from ASOS, this bubble jacket, it's G Star. I got it from ASOS a couple of years ago, and then I'm wearing this emerald green sweatsuit from Tear, which is a black owned brand based in New York, and then I have on my Yeezy 700 wave runner so that's what i'm wearing i'm about to head out now before i'm late so i'll see y'all once i get there it's really snowing outside hold on yeah it's dead snowing outside i don't know if you have to see it but mother nature why y'all didn't tell me 
and that's a ball on my Yeezys. I have on the wrong shoes for the snow. I'm upset. So I just got done. Show you my nails. Just got done. These are my nails. Did a red gel mini. I am in love. So now I'm heading to the mall. It is cold outside. It's not snowing anymore, but it's still cold. So I'm heading to the mall now, and I'll check in with you guys once I get there. I think this is crooked. I can't even. Yeah, it's crooked. Hold on. So yeah, I'm heading to the mall now, and I'll check in with you guys once I get there. So, yeah! I hate when people get off of somewhere, whether that's a bus or a train, and just stand there. Like, you need to move so that the people behind you can get off. But, I'm at the mall now. And let me show y'all because they got the tree out there. It's so pretty. Okay, I'm going to do another roll. I want some hats. This is what I came here for, $9.90 cash. So I definitely went in there for just beanies. And I ended up getting beanie plus dress equals $37. Yeah, I wanted to go to Ulta, but they closed the Ulta in here. So I'm just gonna go to Sephora and then I guess I'm gonna go home. I have to go to the grocery store too because I still need my bread. Okay, so now I am heading to Sephora. My gimbal needs to be recalibrated. So come crooked. But out of focus, that's it. First time going to the Sephora. So I'm to get into the Sephora. So, I'm gonna wait. Okay, yeah, I had to pull my mask down for this one. So I went to Sephora because I had the to I had the 25 or 75, which finished today, almost trip. And it took me like a minute in there because I was trying to smell and I had to keep my mask on, like. But I knew I wanted a fragrance, so 
I ended up, y'all gonna see when I get home because I'm gonna show y'all everything that I got. But trying to buy fragrance with the mask, no joke. Hey guys, so I, well, I didn't just get back home, but I'm back home now and I wanted to show you guys what I got. So I went to Unigo, I went to Sephora, and then I went to the supermarket and got my bread. Finally got my bread, my lips are chapped. Let me use my new lip gloss, my Maybelline Moon Lip Gloss. Fenty dupe. This moisturizes my lips so well. Like, mm. Mm -mm. but um, when I went to Sephora, what I was saying is that you have to keep the mask on to smell the fragrance. So I wanted to get a Mason Margiela scent, but I couldn't really smell them, and I never had anything from them before. So I'm like, I don't want to buy it and then hate it. So I scratched that, and I went with my Holy Grail. So let me show you guys. So this is what I got. I got the number five Chanel, the Eau de Parfume. So I'm actually gonna open it up because I want to smell it for real. I smelled it in the store, and I just love all of well most of Chanel's um fragrances. So I'm like, oh, I should like this one. Let's see. So they had this one which retail for eighty dollars. And then they had, um, I feel like I'm going to break my nail opening this. Okay, so my mom got it open for me. So this is the bottle. This is a bottle. So cute. I'm just going to spray one spritz because I, listen, she was expensive. So I don't want to waste anything. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Yes, 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 yes. So I'm gonna go put her up here, my little fragrance tray. So, got she, love she. It just smells so rich. It's a very powdery scent. So if you like like powdery scents, you'll like it. But I don't really have anything powdery and I feel like powdery gives me like winter vibes. So that's why I got it. So I went to Unigo, I got this beanie. I really wanted a beanie just to put on my head for everyday use because my scalp is exposed and I don't have the time to be getting sick. So I got this. This is a heat tech knitted cap. All of these were $9.90, I believe, as you guys probably saw in the previous clip. And then I got this sweater dress. It's a cream sweater dress with a neck that you can like roll down uh, i'm not gonna try it on because i do wash everything before i wear it so this was 30 dollars, i believe so that's what i got also i wanted to tell y'all so in my previous vlog on december 10th i was saying like i ordered stuff from sephora online and i was gonna go in store but the coupon code is um 25 or 75 one time use only in store or online but i usually do both just because if I need things, I'm going to get my money off. I give y'all mad money. I'm rouge for a reason. You know what I'm saying? So I just deserve $25 in store and $25 online. That's how I think about it. So I went in store, got the perfume. The cashier helped me like pick it out, give me samples and stuff like that. We were there chatting it up. And she skimmed my thing and she's like, oh, it's not going through. It's not going through. Long story short, I still got my $25 off. But shout out to you, girl. Cashier at Sephora. But yes, I... I'm gonna go cook dinner, have something to eat, edit some videos, just relax. Um, I don't want today and tomorrow to be too heavy on work, so I'm literally just doing thumbnails, like videos are already edited. So, yeah, tomorrow morning I need to go back to Sephora to get the Fenty cream gloss bombs because I do want to do a review on them but I'm interested in trying them just because I don't really have cream glosses so I just want to try it out to see because y'all know me I love a gloss bomb so I'm gonna get them I'm gonna try them out I may or I may not pick up an extra one for a giveaway so just wait on it but yeah so that is part one of my self-care day I did my nails which I love like Kendra and red nails it's a very rare sight I did my toes. I did them funny bunny. I don't know if you guys can see my funny bunny toes. <laughs> um, I did a little bit of shopping. And then tomorrow I'm going to do a little bit more shopping. And then go get my full body massage. So I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, 
guys so it's currently 3 15 and i want to leave my house at 3 30 for my full body massage so i'm about to take a shower and then get dressed and all of that but y'all i need to take my hair out but i need to find the time like my hair has grown so much and i just want to wash my hair so i'm gonna do that after a photo shoot that i have scheduled which is coming up so i'm gonna have my locks in for that photo shoot my full locks in and then i'm gonna take them out but i'm gonna go do my full body massage i'm gonna take you guys along and then once i get back i'm going to make myself a nice cup of tea and show you guys like what books i've been reading and what books i picked up so that if you guys want any book recommendations you can have them but i do feel like reading books are a part of self-care too i still have two lashes on this eye that refuse to come off and my camera is dying so let me charge my battery take a shower so and then i'm gonna out here to my equipment i don't know if you can hear me but i'm moving for my equipment now come on time a little bit i am back home i got my massage from kalia you guys that massage i feel like a brand new woman like brands new so if you're in the new york area and you want to support a black business and get a massage and she's about to start doing facials i'll go ahead and put her information down below but yeah would definitely recommend definitely trying to make it monthly i went back in october but november was such a hectic month that i didn't make it but i did my december and i'm about to schedule my january so make sure y'all check her out my body really feels good so now it's currently 9 20 p.m i'm about to make some tea and um put my face mask on so i'm about to show y'all what i use and how i do that so let's head over to the kitchen okay so i'm making a tea and the tea that i'm gonna drink is the lemon ginger tea from yoji so this is my favorite tea specifically from yoji and i love their teas because on each of their teas once you open it up on a tea bag there is a little quote so this is what this one says i haven't even read it yet so y'all get to see it before me but it says the gate to happiness is self-compassion how fitting for this vlog because we're focused on self-care so nice little quote i really like these quotes they just wake me up in the morning and put me to bed at night this tea smells so good oh my god i'm so excited and i'm just using my flamingo christmas hat mug my favorite i'm boiling my water now so i'm just gonna wait for that to be done and then i'm gonna have my tea and then go to the bathroom to take a nice long shower and show you guys how i do my face mask so i made my tea cheers so good but with my skin right now i'm about to cleanse First. If y'all want to see what I cleanse with, I'll link my nighttime skincare routine up above. But I'm going to cleanse my face first and then I'm going to put on my mask. So BRB. And that tea, it just put me in a place. Like, I don't know. I'm just so relaxed and ready to go to sleep. So I'm going to make this, this part real quick. <laughs> so I went ahead and applied my toner. I use a toner from my esthetician, Cynthia Aesthetics. But now I'm going to put my mask on. So this is the Revitalizing Mask from PCA Skin. 
This mask is amazing for smoothing the skin, smoothening the skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on real quick. Okay, so I just go and I use about this so much of product. And I'm just gonna put it on my face. And I like to apply it before I get in the shower. As you're in the shower, the steam and all of that just helps it penetrate more into your pores. So I got my titties all on the screen. But yeah, so that's so how it looks. It's just like a show. It's, I feel it. I do this to my skin once or twice a week. Um, Most of the time once because it's an extra step. Now I'm going to get in the shower and... And I'm gonna get out and do my nighttime skincare routine. That shit, my armpits, last nice armpits, and y'all can see how it's looking. I'm gonna show you guys a product that I wow, well, you guys should already seen that video. My top 20 products of 2020. This roller, the Vanish PFB. Look at my armpits. Once I give it a that little, it's over. So this is no joke, no joke, period. So let me get in the shower and then I'll be back. Okay, so I did want to show you guys some books that are next in my queue to read. So this one I'm actually finishing up now. This is Black Privilege by Charlemagne the God. If you guys did not read this book, I would highly recommend. These stickies are like all of the notes that I took while reading the book. So this book, very insightful, very funny. <laughs> and I just think it's a great book overall. So i would recommend this the next thing that i have in my queue is more than enough by elaine waltz walter roth i got this book as a prize when i went to afropunk last year from like the target booth so i heard so many great things about this book so i definitely can't wait to read it and then i have this book which i actually started reading but never finished um you are a badass how to start how to stop doubting your greatness and start living an awesome life i got this from target 20 percent off and I got this like two years ago, I want to say. I started reading it, but I think I'm just going to start over again because I honestly don't remember. But she has a whole series of books in case you guys never heard of Jen Sincero. She has like one about making money and just different things that we can all relate to. This is a New York Times bestseller. This is a New York Times bestseller. I'm not sure if this one is, but these three. And then the last one is Small Doses by Amanda Seals. I purchased this from Amazon. I think a year ago I just wanted to support her and I was just like now I want to read it because I was listening to her breakfast club interviews and she's such an insightful person so I can't wait to read this book as well but these are four books that I have in my queue that I want to read next as I mentioned earlier reading books is also a form of self-care so make sure y'all reading books or just educating yourself whether it's listening to podcasts reading articles the newspaper every day whatever it is make sure you're doing it but that's basically it for my self-care vlog i hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel we're on the road to 8k drop a comment down below with what you do to practice self-care whether it's getting your nails or getting a massage reading books or whatever it is you guys do that may not have even been included in today's video comment down below and let me know and until my next video which will be tomorrow i'll see you guys later Mwah.